Hello, hello, this is Minecraft here, and welcome to another episode of Minecraft Vanilla Super Flat Survival. And oh my god, did I do a lot of F off camera work. I did so much off camera work. As you can see, I have already built up my pig pen around here. I have, um, added some more fences right here, so now that every time I want to go from my house down to this passage right here, which leads to my other village right there, and to the other village right there, I have to go up here, and then I have to open this gate right here, and the reason I did this is that so I would have a double exit, so what I mean by that is that when I have a lot of pigs in here, if I open this gate accidentally, some pigs can get out, and then it will be very, very difficult to get that pig back in here, so if there's a lot of pigs, I could go through the double entrance, and by that, I mean so that, and by that, I mean so that, um, if I go out right here, and then say, for example, some pigs are able to get out into this area right here, it will be a much less chance of them going out this gate right here. So there's kind of a double barrier for the pigs to not get out. And I have already breeded them quite a bit, and I have played for a very, very long time since I have last filmed. Um, I don't remember if I told you I, ex I, ex I expanded this uh, nether war farm. Oh, actually, yes, I think I did. I told you in a... In another episode that I expanded the nether ward farm. Well, anyway, let me just drop down some, um, some mob drops right here. And, oh my god, let's, let's hope we get some chainmail armor from that. Oh, unfortunately, nope, we didn't get any chainmail armor. Well, let's hope we get some redstone from that witch. Uh, well, I think we did get sugar. Oh, yep, yeah, we did get sugar. That's pretty nice. Okay, we're kind of running out of spaces, but that's what I'm going to do later on so let me look at that um i'm gonna go put my sugar down to my brewing chest and i have had these shears in my general chest for quite a while now but i never actually got to use them so i'm just gonna show you how i'm gonna be able to use these uh shears which is really awesome i'm gonna collect some leaves uh, just because I get tired of constantly having to wait for these leaves to decay. It's really awesome to just completely destroy all these leaves. They're being destroyed so quickly that's almost like lagging. Like, that's... It's amazing. But unfortunately, of course, my shears are gonna end quite soon, which is a negative effect since... Uh, and I don't have much shears. Well, when I get villagers, hopefully I'm gonna be able to trade with them. And when I get a lot of uh, an iron farm, I'm going to be able to craft iron, so that would be nice, too. Uh, now I'm going to run around collecting all of my uh, leaves that got dropped from the shearing of them, which is nice. I mean, I could wait until they decay by themselves, but it's just more fun, and I just think it's, it's better to destroy them with shears rather than having to wait for them to decay by themselves, so... I'll just go and place that down into my agriculture chest. And also one thing that you probably noticed but I did not show you was that I was actually... I actually successfully... Um, yep, I don't have any shears now because my last pair broke. My first and last pair broke. Now, oh my god, this took me such a long time to build. This super highway of canals... A three, a three by three super canal, super highway, to and from the area where I'm gonna put my breeding, um, where I'm gonna put my villager breeding farm. Now this takes up so much space. This takes up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's nine blocks. It takes up this super highway takes up nine blocks. And it was so difficult. I was just... It took me such a long time to build this whole thing. To make sure that all of these torches are in the correct places. To make sure that these torches are on all of the sides. To make sure that these this torches is one right here, one right here, one right there. To make sure that the water flowing is only one, two, three, four, five blocks with... Um, the pressure plates it took me so so much wood to craft all of these pressure plates to stop the water it took me so so long to put down all these water sources because i only have one bucket but it is finally finished and it is so fast and it's so efficient 
and I completely destroyed this whole wall. Like, I used to have, um, this is where my 3x3 wall was, so I completely destroyed it, and I made this little terminal thing. And notice how there's no pressure plates right here, and that is so that this area... I like to have these because in case of a slime is able to jump through the one high wall, I like to have three high walls for extra protection, so if a spider gets here or something, or if a mob is able to get here, since I think that one, a one tall uh, cobblestone wall is not as much protection as I would like to, so I have an additional wall here barring all of the outside factors from entering my base, because my base is a fortress to me and so since it's a fortress to me i want it to be protected as well as possible and really to do that i have to um have protection including from my weak spots right here so and also because if i if a mob is able to get in here it might step on the if a mob does get in this part right here then it might step on the pressure plate right here, and then it might open the door, but right here it's easier to open it with hand, and right here, when I go right here, I could just run through it. So, to demonstrate that, I have quite a bit of boats right here, and let me show you. I have already built a walled area around that. Okay, I should probably hurry up because the sun's setting, but thankfully, since I have this amazing system, then I don't have to hurry up very much because the boat system is going to do everything for me. Now, I'm not pressing anything, and we're going quite quickly. At first, it does seem that we're going slowly, but then the only reason it seems that we're going slowly is because there's nothing to really look at. But if you look at on the side here, we're actually traveling quite quickly compared to what we'd be traveling if we were running. Uh, and now I do think that if we would to use, if we were to use a potion of speedness too, then it would take us much faster than it currently does. But thanks to the fact that. I have this boat system, I don't have to brew any potions to use this system, so as you can see, this is where we are kind of starting to see the other village, you can, I don't know if you can see that, but I can see some houses over there, that's where the village is, I have already encased this area, and thankfully it's um, slime free, I did not light up the whole area though, so I'm, so I'm going to have to do that, and this is where I'm going to have my villager breeder, I'm going to have a small trading outpost here, this doesn't have to be a necessarily large area, because the breeder doesn't take up much space, and so does the a villager trading center, and right here I have my villager transporting system that goes up here with a, an infinite water source, right here, it comes out right here just so I can jump through, but right here I'm going to have a, a canal that kind of pipes them up and into the breeder right here, um, and then on the other side right here, the breeded villagers would come out here, and I will also have an additional canal that pipes them back to my base. And alongside here, I'm gonna have a villager transport system as well as a transport system for my player, for, um, for myself. And as you can see, I got these really beautiful, um, quartz stairs to make it look really nice. And notice how I have two blocks here, because if I have the stairs right here, then the boat hits it too hard, and I'm not able to collect the boat. So, that way I have it only one block here, just so it'll be easier to place the boat. So, now it's getting to be night time, and we should probably head back home. And this is a completely safe system, because you can see the slimes can't really touch me. It was very, very difficult to dig all of this out. And I was digging this out during the night time, when there were no slimes, and there was creepers exploding. You can see some of those holes right there that I dug um, to hide from the mobs. Uh, in addition to that, it was very difficult to build up the um, walls, too, because there was, like, a ton of slimes. There was, like, literally 50 slimes. I probably died two times from the slimes, which is really nice. Uh, but thankfully, I got it all done, and now I don't have to worry about it. And now, as you can see, I have um, arrived, and right here I have the two space right here as well. Only one space right here. Well, actually, I think that I think that I should probably move this a bit to the... Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I don't like having it really too tight in, so I'm just probably going to extend this one block and then place the stairs like so, just so I could have one block leeway space in case um, I need to do anything. So, pop that boat back in the chest. I'm going to fill up the whole chest with boats eventually, and uh, I hope that's going to be fine. It's an amazing system, and it's very, very beautiful. You just look out onto it, and at any angle, it's amazing to see it go out into the distance. Now, let's see if we can start to breed some more of my piggies right here, because I do need more pigs at the moment. Now, I 
Now, I don't actually, um... I haven't actually killed any pigs so far, as you can see if I go into my uh, statistics right here, mobs, uh... You don't see the op you don't see the pig right here because I have not yet killed any pigs. So right right now I think I'm gonna breed some. So let's see. I don't know how many of them are willing to go into breeding mode, but uh, this also is a very nice XP farm because it gives me quite a bit of XP. Because when the pigs breed, they actually give you XP every time two pigs produce uh, a small calf. Wow. And this is exactly why I have a double wall, just to make sure that um, the pigs are, don't get out when I don't want them to get out. Okay, so here are all of the pigs. I don't know, I think, I think when all of the small um, pigs grow up, that's where I'm going to start actually killing off the pigs, because I think they're kind of becoming to be a little bit too much, and I am going to make some more carrots as soon as I can. But right now I want to show you the amazing view from the top. If I go up to the uh, grinder up here, uh, where my squid lake is, and I just place this... Um, the reason that I have this ladder going up here is because this is a great place to look at... Oh, there's just a cave noise right there. Um, yeah, there are cave noises for some reason might come up here. And we can see all of those leaves that I was able to uh, break using my shears. This is a great place where I can go up and enjoy the views of the Minecraft world. And what made the views even better is amazingly looking at the canal system. My base is so small and so are the so is the village compared to how far away this goes. And it's amazing how you can see the light spreading out. And it's like a beacon of hope because there are no mobs spawning there. Well, I won't make it as epic as it sounds, but you gotta admit this does look pretty epic. Considering it took me like an hour or so to make. And it took me quite a bit of cobblestone to make too, and it took me about two uh, it took me about two stacks of torches to make, so I had to make a bunch of more torches. And I really like how I also built up this three by three wall up here around this area, so it'll be part of my base. And then it kind of, and if you noticed on the right here, the right there, I have um, oh a spider jockey just spawned. If you notice on the right right there, I have this little um. I have a uh, fence gate right there that is just in case if I want to exit the area or enter this area where, when I'm uh, outside right there. So, yeah. And what I think I'm going to do off camera is I'm probably going to... I'm probably going to build up my villager breeder. But actually, what I need to do first is I do need to get some glass from villagers. And like I said before many, many times, the only way to get glass in this world is to trade with villagers. So I will have to go around village by village. Oh, darn. Um, I knew this would happen sometime. That's why I have some hoes right here. Um, now... I do. I am going to have to go around some more villagers, uh, villages, trying to find a librarian that is willing to trade glass with me. Um, now this will be much easier considering that I have quite a fast horse with me right now, so I'll be able to run around quite quickly. So that's what I'm going to do. And now, just to remind you, if you are wondering how come I build this really huge canal system and I just don't use the horses to get around. And the reason for that is I'm a fan of technical systems. I like technical things in Minecraft. Um, I like redstone, rails, oh. And this is why I have a 3x3 three three wall here, just in case. Um, I'm a fan of technical systems in Minecraft, and what I mean by that is I like rail systems. Um, technical systems like that. I'm not really a big fan of uh, horse transport. I only use horse transport to transport from villages to villages in which I don't really have good infrastructure. I also use vill um, I also use horses to get around from village to village, uh, exploring new villages. If I don't know that there is a village, uh, then I could use horses to explore new villages. But if I'm making uh, 
transportation system that I will be using for extended periods of time, and by that I mean I'm gonna go back and forth, I will probably use a more technical system like um, a canal system or a rail system. Well, I'm using a canal system in this case is because I don't have any iron, uh, I don't have much iron, I only have one um, iron ingot, I only have like six gold ingots and very little redstone, so I'm not able to build uh, a rail transport system, so the only thing that I can really do is a uh, water uh, based canal transportation system and it's also really great because now I can get my statistics up and if I go into my statistics section you can go right here um, distance by so you can see that uh, distance by boat 1.99 kilometers so wow I have not really been using the system for quite I have not been using the system for a long time and yet this is already 1.99 kilometers. So of course, I walked 171 and 0.66 kilometers, but that's because I run a lot from village to village. Uh, I don't know. Oh, distance by horse. Yeah, definitely walking. Yeah, walking will always be my most, uh, my best mode of transportation. Anyway, so I think in the next episode, I'm going to go to some villages. Uh, I'm going to take some of my horses, I might explore some more villages in that direction, might explore some more villages in that direction, and search for a villager librarian that is willing to sell us glass. Now, I do have quite a bit of, um, oh, actually, there we go. Now, I do have quite a bit of emeralds, and I don't remember if I told you this before, I made, um, I made a villager trading, uh, chest in which I'll have things that I will trade with villagers. Now I have wool because I have, um, I don't really need much wool and also because many villagers want to sell me wool but I did not take it so wool is better if I, if there's no villagers that sell, that buy, um, wheat then instead I can sell them wool. Uh, now I have 48, I made 48 hay bales, and each of these hay bales contains 9 wheat. And this is a very nice way of storing wheat, because I, it only takes up one space, and yet I could trade with a lot of villagers, uh, especially if I'm going long distance to villages that are far away. Now I traded some more wheat with the villagers, and now I have 21 emeralds, which is so, so amazing. As you can see, that's practically... That's like two emerald blocks, and if I take my iron pickaxe, since um, blocks, uh, emerald blocks can only be broken by iron tools, and we can see this is our first um, ore block that we have. And I love the sound of it breaking. This is the sound that every ore block, that kind of metallic -y blocks make, those kind of gold and diamond blocks. And it's amazing that we have emerald blocks. It's really, really nice. I really took... I really had to um, spend like 30 minutes bone mealing all of this, um, all these seeds here to create enough wheat and hay to get that much emeralds. And as you can see right here, I have tons of seeds. I think soon enough I'm going to start throwing away seeds because there's just way too much. Uh, but anyway, in the next episode, I'm going to uh, ride around my horse to other villages, uh, hopefully in search for more glass. So thank you for watching. This is Minecraft, and uh, see you all in the next episode.